we're going to take a look at today at moving expenses. Now, moving expenses were allowed for all people, and there were certain rules you had to follow, but if you made a big move, uh, like you moved to Atlanta or something to get a job, I've had some students, in fact, recently moved to Texas to get a job, then you would be able to, um, you might be able to, depending on all the circumstances, be able to deduct moving expenses as an adjustment. Uh, however, starting in 2018, that changed. And so currently, you can only do moving expenses if you are part of the military. That may change again come the future, but right now, only the military uh, can basically use moving expenses. So if they are transferred to a different post, uh, then the cost of moving that isn't reimbursed by the military is then deductible as an adjustment on your return. Okay, you can deduct the uh, personal items, the cost of moving those items, and the cost of moving yourselves, uh, but not meals, to the new locality. Uh, the This says 2019, but this is 2020. Mileage rate is 17 cents a mile. Or you can use your actual gas and oil expense, uh, but you can't use insurance repairs or other costs uh, as far as far as that goes. The moving expenses have to be reasonable and they um, they don't count if they're reimbursed by the military. Okay. Um, so in that case, only the part that you had to pay out of pocket uh, can be included. And this is going to go on Schedule 1, Line 13. You're also going to have to fill out a form 3903 and then attach that to the 1040. Okay, so the kinds of things you can deduct are the stuff, the, the things for moving your stuff. So uh, U-Haul van or any other kind of moving van um, or a moving company, gas for the moving van, all anything it costs you to move your stuff. And then for cost for you moving yourself and your family, okay, that's, those are called travel expenses, and that's the, if you move, drive your vehicle, that's where you get the 17 cents a mile there for that, and any lodging that you have to pay on the way to get there, um, just not meals, you can't deduct the meals on the way because you have to eat anyways, okay. You have to have receipts for everything, and only the part that's not reimbursed by the military is actually deductible. Okay, so let's take a look at... Um, Here's the form 3903 that needs to be filled out. Uh, so you would type the name and social security number up at the top. Okay, it says before you begin, you can deduct moving expenses only if you're a member of the armed forces on active duty. And due to a military order, you, your spouse, or dependents move because of permanent change of station. Check here to deduct to certify that you meet these requirements. And so you would have to check that off, assuming it's all true. Line one, transportation and storage of your household goods and personal effects. So this would be the cost of uh, the moving company to move the stuff. So let's say uh, you spent 3,500 for that, okay? The travel is the cost of moving yourself and your family. That includes lodging. OK, 
okay? Um, do not include the cost of meals, okay? So let's say you had a, a, a sum for that. Now, first of all, let's say you had um, 2,000 miles times uh, 17 cents a mile. So that would be 340, okay? And then let's say you also had lodging of uh, another 400. So that would be a total of 740. Oop. Okay, so there, and then we line three as we add the totals. So that would be uh, 4240. Line four is enter the amount the government paid you for the expenses listed on one, lines one and two that's not included on box one of your W-2 wages. Okay, so if the military reimbursed you and didn't show it as wages, uh, let's say that they give, gave you 2000 okay? And then is line three more than line four? Yes. Then it says subtract line four from line three. So 4240 minus 2000 is 2240. Okay. And you would enter this on schedule one, line 13. So here's our Schedule 1. We put the name in Social Security. Uh, and down here in Adjustments, Line 13, 2240. Okay, any other adjustments you'd have, then this would get totaled up on Line 22. If that's the only one you had, that would be the total. And you would also enter that on Form 1040, Line 10A, this total from this 